Hi and welcome. I'm Joel and I'm here with Kevin Richardson, the producer of Fashion Spy. And we're actually going to talk a little bit about Fashion Spy and uh, give you guys some tips and tricks on how to play the game a bit. Sure. sure. Um, well, first of all, at a very, very high level, um, Fashion Spy is a uh, code breaking game where um, you are there is a code that you do not get to see uh, and your job is to figure out what that color code is so you can infiltrate the, uh, in this case, the X-Clan's secret layers and recover their uh, items that they're going to use for some nefarious purpose. Uh, uh, anyway, yeah. So what, what nefarious purposes are there? Oh, well, they're out to, um, <clears throat> for example, combine the so five items together, like a teddy bear, a bowling ball, a, uh, a skull, and a uh, cheesecake to uh, extract the E atom, which is the evil atom, to uh, basically flip uh, uh, good on its head and make all that's good evil. That's pretty evil. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm not in agreement with that. So No, no, you got to stop it, and that's, what, that's where the player comes in. So can you tell us some tips on how we can stop these guys? Yeah, I mean, well, uh, obviously baseball bats and things like that won't work with stopping evil in this game. So what we need to do is... Uh, uh, you are going to go infiltrate the five locations where these items are going to be handed off uh, to uh, X-Clan members. And so you go in and you need to disguise yourself as one of their members. So you show up at, for example, the nightclub and the, uh, the bouncer there is looking for somebody wearing a certain disguise. Um, so your job is to disguise Fashion Spy with uh, a something for her head, something for her um, torso, something for her uh, uh, pants and shoes, so four items. And the uh, bouncer dude in this uh, example is looking for specific colors because he knows that he's supposed to hand the item, the special item, let's say like the cheesecake, off to somebody with the right clothes and color combination. Okay, cool. And is there any tips and tricks on how to kind of you know, figure out what that best combination is. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is not a guessing game. This is a strategy game. If you're somebody who doesn't like to read instructions or um, figure things out or, 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 or strategize um, or play a game slowly, this uh, it's really important to uh, slow down and, and uh, understand there is a strategy to this game. So one of the most popular strategies to um, cracking the code is the first thing you want to know is how many colors am I actually dealing with? So on the main menu, for example, if you pick to play uh, the easy mode, which I believe is five, uh, you're going to try to crack a five color code. Now you have to keep in mind that the code could be f uh, four pegs all the same color. They, you know, you don't know. It could be all green. It could be all blue. Or it could be two blues and two greens. So the best strategy to approach this game is on your very first guess is I think, to just deal with two colors at a time. So let's say you, you're going to put down your four items. I would go something like orange, orange, red, red. And then the game, when I will respond and say how many uh, correct colors you have and whether they're in the exact spot or not. Uh, so for example, you might get four red X's for that guess that I just uh, used in my example. If that's the case, then that means there's no red or orange mm -hmm. in that code. And then you might slip to the, as my next try to two more colors. So now it's not really a guess. Now I know my next try is not going to have those two colors in it. So you weed out a lot of the options that way. Well, you're trying to weed out color options and also weed out the position of the colors. So you really gets your, your, your left brain going. And you are the, the, the goal is to think like a spy. And how would you weed out some of those uh you know, position uh, position options. Sure. So let's just say that I uh, same. Let's say I put down two greens and two blues, and the feedback that I received was one black peg and one white peg. Well, that means that one of those pegs is in exactly the right spot for the code, and then the white peg means another one of those colors is correct, but in the wrong spot. And the two blanks mean that two of those are not correct. So that means that, okay, so now I'm thinking, now I either have 
it's either the code has two blues in it, two greens, or one of each. And so I need to now start to see what other colors are in there because I've got two red X's. So I need to start thinking, I better check with the other colors now to see what I have. So I might now go to, for example, two purples and two blacks, see if those colors are in there. Once I've got all the right color combinations, um, my next moves will consist of introducing new colors as well as changing the positions around until I get four blocks. When I have four blocks, that means I've cracked the code, I get the item. Very cool. And so you only have a limited amount of chances to actually crack this code, right? Well, you have, uh, the, yeah, you, well, we give you a limited amount of uh, chances if you're uh, not a non-signed in player. If you get an account with Shockwave, which is a great thing to do, it doesn't cost you anything, um, we can uh, we, we give you tokens when you sign up, and you can also buy additional guesses. The game is currently tuned such that if you are kind of an average player and apply the strategies that I just presented, uh, you could probably crack the code almost 70 to 80 percent of the time. If, of course, you're just kind of guessing random, putting random pegs down, you're never going to get the guess. You're actually never going to get it right if you if you take that strategy. <laughs> Very cool. So is, is there any other kind of uh, tips that you can give our listeners that might help them along the way? Um, go slow. Think about, your, uh, think about your, your guesses. Compare the feedback with your, um, with your attempts to crack the code and make the next attempt at cracking the code really count. And the way you do that is you just kind of have to review the past ones that you did and think about what the next one is. You know, don't, if you receive four white pegs, for example, let's say you have all the right colors, but you have four white pegs for that, for that attempt. That means that every one of those colors is correct, but they're all in the wrong spot. So for your next attempt, move them around into every one of those spots needs to be different and, um, and compare backwards because um, more than likely, if you've got four white pegs, you're just one or two moves away from beating the level. So it's almost helpful to have a pen and paper handy and kind of jot down what you've tried in the past. Well, that would be a good way to do it. Um, the game is pretty good about not only showing you and giving you feedback, it shows you every one of your previous guesses, and but you can also roll over uh, on your previous attempts and it will tell give you all the feedback that you need. It tells you, it says, you have two colors that are in the uh, right spot and right color. You've got one that's the right color but in the wrong spot and you've got one item that's wrong. So you can actually roll over each one. The game does a pretty good job of uh, uh, telling you and recording uh, uh, information about each guess. Oh, very cool. So uh, is there anything else uh, that you want to share, not tips and, tips and tricks related uh, with the listeners? Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, um, you know, evil never sleeps and so it's very important that the players get involved and stop the X Clan because sooner or later they're you know if we if we just don't uh, do anything they're more than likely just going to take over not only the city but you know they'll grow and take over the world. But one thing you can do that's kind of almost a slam dunk to solving the level is um, you can buy three correct colors and and, and the positions with uh, Shockwave Cash. It's you know for pennies you could actually stomp out evil at some of these on some of these levels pretty quickly. Um, but it's a really fun game. Uh, once you get into it, you're going to be completely hooked. In fact, I think uh, 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 hopefully this will help uh, players who kind of got intimidated by it at first and thought, uh, I don't want to read the instructions. But once you've solved one level, I think you're going to be totally hooked on this game. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, and uh, thank you for listening. Thanks a lot, Joel. All right. Bye-bye.